Hallelujah, Jesus. We bless your holy name. <clears throat> yes, Father. We bless you. We glorify you. We magnify you. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Come on, invite all your followers, all of your friends. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We bless you. Good morning, good morning. Hallelujah. It's a good morning. Hallelujah. In spite of our circumstances, in spite of what's going on, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on in. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. God is up to something. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Do it again, Lord. Come on, make that declaration. I'm not going back. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, Lord. You're mine. Come on, give him the highest praise. Yes, Lord. We ought to have a response for the Lord keeping us, the Lord sustaining us. Hallelujah. Come on, you ought to have a O, oh, even when you don't have the word. Come on, declare it. I'll sing your praise. Hallelujah. I know that's somebody's testimony. God has been a way maker. He's been a redeemer. He's been a rescuer. He's been a deliverer. Come on, declare it this morning. He has rescued your life. Yeah, I don't know where he saved you from, but I know he rescued you. He's called you out of darkness into his marvelous light and we have to make it make this declaration this morning even in crisis I'm not going back I'm not going back to the way things used to be I'm not going back to the way I used to do things I'm not going back to the way I used to think I'm going to keep my faith I walk by faith and not by sight hallelujah come on good morning come on we're going to encourage as you share. Come on, press that share button right there in the corner. And we're going to encourage somebody's heart. Hallelujah. Come on, be an evangelist with me this morning. And share, share, share. Hallelujah. 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 And I'm not going. Come on. We're about to impart and pray. Come on. You have rescued my life. My life is not my own. <laughs> yeah. And I never. How tolerable shall be this? Yes. 
Hallelujah. Man, that's been my song all weekend. Good morning, good morning. Hatevo Shakaya. Yeah. You're my redeemer. <laughs> I'm trying to trying to transition, but this has been my song, my worship, my declaration all weekend. Yes, I praise God. He's a rescuer. Hallelujah. And as I confess and make a de declaration of who he is, I'm also confessing who I've been. He had to rescue me. He had to save me. I was sinking deep in sin, far from a peaceful shore, very deeply staying within, sinking to rise no more. But the master of the sea, he heard my despair and cry and up. Hallelujah. Thank God for up, <laughs> up from the waters. Come on. He lifted me. Love lifted me when nothing else can help. Love lifted me. I pray you're singing those hymns while you're in quarantine. I pray that you are singing those hymns. Hallelujah. The songs of Zion as we are still under a shutdown and lockdown, hallelujah, with the Holy One, hallelujah, Jesus is good. We welcome you to East Friendships Intercessors Hour, Pastor Maxwell's small group, amen, and we are giving God praise for all that our leader is doing, amen, Pastor Melvin Maxwell and all of our staff at the East Friendship Baptist Church in Washington, D.C. I am your your brother, your friend, amen, your minister, Maurice Maxwell, coming here on uh, this beautiful Wednesday morning to share from you all the way from North Carolina. God is good and he's worthy to be praised. And I want you to know that God will keep you. He will sustain you. And if you call on his name, he will rescue you. Hallelujah, Jesus. God is good. He is worthy to be praised. Um, I, I am sensing a lot of different things right now, even as persons are coming on. Amen. And uh, I'm going to share as the Lord leads and we're going to pray as the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit gives utterance. Amen. Um, first place, I want to begin this morning as you're pressing that share button. Please, please, please press that share button. We want persons to be encouraged. We want persons to be edified. We want our ministry to be able to connect with persons that they've never connected before. If you can just press that share button, text persons right now and say, hey, join me. Press this link. Share the link with them. You can copy the link and text it to it like five, 10 people, share this link, and we're going to get ready to impart and pray in the name of Jesus. It'd be great for them to watch the replay, but it'd be amazing to have them on live right now. So go ahead, share, share, share in Jesus' name. But what's been on my heart as you all share and, we come, and you come back in um, is just having the right conversation. In this quarantine time, in the midst of a pandemic, in the midst of crisis, we need to make sure that we are having the right conversations. Um, I'm reminded that even when David was going through his trial and tribulation and they were going through crisis as they returned from war um, and they found that their families uh, were taken, their wives were taken, their children were taken uh, by the enemy, that David encouraged himself. Um, some of you might be uh, single, you might be alone, uh, and I'm praying for you, uh, sp especially during the season, and I'm praying that you are having the right conversations, and uh, even if you're in a house full of people, I pray that you are having the right conversations. What do you mean by having the right conversations? The right conversations as you're looking at this crisis. As you are listening to the news, as you are looking at uh, your bank account, as you're looking at your circumstances, as you're looking at the food that you have in your possession, I'm praying that you're having the right conversations, the right conversations about where you are, where you have been, the right conversations about where your future is going and what can happen, where where is life going to, what is life going to be like? The next day, I'm praying that you're having the right conversation. The Bible tells us in Philippians chapter 4 that we ought to have our mind 
uh, set to, on on good things, to think on these things, things that are lovely, things that are pure, things that are righteous, things that are good report. Um, that's in Philippians chapter four. So my prayer is that you're having your mind on the right things. Yes, stay updated with the news and particularly your local news, because there's a lot of things that's going on as it relates to the governor's orders and executive orders of what we are supposed to do and what we can do, and what we cannot do. And I'm praying that you are thinking on good things. Stay updated, but don't be consumed by the things that are the news. Have your mindset on things of God, things that are lovely, things that are pure. Because in the midst of this pandemic, there are still things of God that are amazing. God is still working things out. People are recovering from this virus. Persons are showing expression of love and kindness. Persons are stepping up that never stepped up before. God is doing great things. We are hearing voices um, of ministry and of the kingdom that we've never heard before. God is raising up new leaders and there's a shift in the land. God is doing amazing things even in this crisis. And I'm praying that we are keeping our mind on good things like that, things that uh, loved ones that are connecting connecting with us during the season that we haven't heard from in years. God is doing amazing things, and we ought to keep our mind on those things, things that are lovely, things that are good report, things that are pleasing. We ought to keep our mind set there. Why? Because our conversations come for where we set our mind. Come on. and we So we have to learn to manage our thoughts, to manage our minds and then that will help us manage our conversations the bible says in romans 4 that we can uh, speak those things that are not as though we were as though they were we are people of faith faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen we know that the spiritual world is, is that which is invisible has brought forth the visible so we are speaking words of faith be, be, beginning to create the things of God and bringing forth the things that are that God has shown us through dreams and visions, bringing forth the things that God has stirred up in our spirit as we lay prostrate in his presence. We begin to speak those things into existence. We need to have the right conversation, even in quarantine, even in isolation, even in our shut-in. We need to have the right conversations about our present, about our future in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God God is getting ready to do amazing things, but he needs someone on the earth to have agreement and begin to converse about those things. If you want something to converge, if you want convergen, you want things to change, you have to do it first through conversation conversation in the name of Jesus. It is so important to have the right conversations around you to manifest a miracle. How do I know that? Because in the gospels, we see that Jesus, as he's moving forth to in, to towards crisis, Jesus doesn't run away from crisis. He runs towards crisis. We see in the gospel numerous times how Jesus moves towards uh, crisis. And when he gets there, he manages the room. That's the first thing. Before Jesus ever extends a hand, before he ever extends a word towards crisis, he extends a word to the crowd. He moves and manages. He dismisses crowds. He dismisses naysayers. He dismisses doubt in hallelujah. And he begins to speak to the crisis. He tells a young woman to rise. He tells Lazarus and calls Lazarus by name and tells him to get up, come forth. Jesus manages the crowd because every crowd has a certain type of conversation. And in this season, maybe for some of us, we are in this shut and we are quarantined because God wants to start having the right conversation with you, the right conversation about your assignment, the right conversation about your place a conversation about your past, your present, and your future, a conversation about your family, your bloodline, a conversation about deliverance, healing, and wholeness, 
right conversations can happen if we can get connected to the right people. I need somebody right now to just put that in the comments. It's time to have the right conversations. It's time to start managing our thoughts, start managing the crowd, start managing our atmosphere and begin having conversations of faith, conversations of destiny, conversations around your welfare. God said that he will never leave you nor forsake you. So why are we having conversations as if God is not there? We need to have conversations with the Lord and begin to see a shift in our minds, a shift in our hearts. And then we begin to see a shift all around us in our circumstances, speaking those things that are not, hallelujah, as though they are. Hallelujah. It's time for us <clears throat> in a safe space to take off our mask and begin to speak the things of the Lord, begin to speak the things, the promises of God over our life, to begin to make prophetic declarations that God is going to increase us. Hallelujah, Jesus. I have a a former member and a good friend and minister um, who's right now in crisis while we were just getting into this crisis and in the midst of this pandemic, she is selling her house. Come on, somebody. And someone is willing to give her cash in the midst of a crisis, in the midst of a pandemic for her house. I'm telling you, God can work miracles in the midst of misery, God can bring forth a promise in the midst of pandemic. Let me tell you, if you have the right conversations and you're talking to the right people or you're talking to the right person, God can work a miracle out for, for you. Let me, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to connect with you right now. And I'm feeling that maybe you're, you've been stuck in quarantine too long. I'm here to come and bring forth a divine visitation to let you know that God still has you on his mind. I need somebody to write that right now. God still has you on his mind. Yes, your promises are still valid. Your, 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 your promises. I need somebody to know right now. You are, you are here because of prophecy. You are here because God still has something over your life that God wants to fulfill in your life. God wants to fulfill through your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are here because God, he that began a good work, shall bring it to completion. There's a promise that's keeping you. There's a word, a prophecy that's sustaining you right now. You shall not die, but you shall live to declare the glory of the Lord. And we need to start speaking that over our life. Start speaking that. And we have to understand there's administrators, there's administrations and gift and gifts and gates that go to war. We know the Bible says that upon this rock, I shall build my church and the gates of hell, the administrations shall not prevail. Every gate, every administration has gifts, has offices. And from those offices, there are declaration or executive orders. And we have to begin to agree with heaven and begin to speak the language of heaven, begin to speak the executive orders from the king who sits on the throne over our lives. Every day they're giving us briefings. A lot of things have not changed with the circumstance, but every day they are making sure they use the gift of the tongue. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. And every day, every week, they are making declarations of over our lives. But we need to make sure that the declaration and the conversation concerning our lives and our welfare align with the will of God and the promises of God, the power of God and the word of God. And not everybody can have that right conversation. That is why it's so important that you are in the presence of God, that you are, are saturating yourself this during this time in the word of God so you can begin to speak the word over your life. Don't leave things in the atmosphere concerning you in this season. We need to speak the word of God over our lives. The Lord said he will never leave us nor forsake us. The Bible tells us in Matthew, I believe it's in chapter 10, verse 1, he tells us that he has given us authority over sickness, death, 
He given us authority over sickness, disease, and demons. He has given us power to heal the sick. He has given us power to cast out demons. He has given us power to raise the dead. And I know we have seen the church for many years operate in this power, sometimes here, sometimes not. But God is calling us right now to walk and operate in that power. Healing can take place in this season. Miracles, signs, and wonders is still ours. Our circumstances have not changed the word of God, nor has it changed the keys of the kingdom that's in our hands. We still have authority and dominion over the earth. There's sometimes there's some things that God wants to do on the earth. And sometimes we have to sit and flow through the crisis so we can see the Christ in the midst of our, our crisis. And we have to remember that we are the body of Christ and we have power. Make a declaration in the name of Jesus. Have the conversations that God wants you to have in this season in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Well, these conversations, uh, man of God. It's, it's hard to have them in this season. I'm looking at my circumstances and they're juxtaposed. Everything is not lining up. Well, there's a lot of things in scripture that uh, and so when you look at the narratives, circumstances didn't always line up at first. That is the beauty of faith. That is what, what makes miracles amazing. Things don't look like they should. But when a man of God, when a woman of God steps in the midst of crisis with the presence and the word of God, things can change. Jabez had a name. His name meant pain. His future, when you give names in scripture, it speaks to the nature and the future of a person. Jabez looked at his name and saw by name he was in crisis. <laughs> his future was spoken over. But he takes time to have a conversation with God. And in the midst of his, the name, in the midst of what's been spoken over his life, he changed what's been spoken. He changes his future. By having a conversation with God through prayer and said, Lord, bless me indeed. Enlarge my territory. Keep me from pain that may harm me. <laughs> he changes his circumstances by conversation with God through prayer. And this is an opportunity to shut things down and start having the right conversation. I've seen so many persons and I'm hearing of so many persons going back to the way things used to be because it's what we know. We are going on our default and what God is saying and, 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 and I'm seeing and I'm sensing and, I, and even in what I do now we see in so many persons, like we get maybe four or five calls a day with persons who are OD. Persons are going back to their default. Some of our weaknesses and our addictions and our habits are being magnified during the season. And my prayer is that you, that you won't go back to the way things used to be. That you won't go back to the things you've known. That you won't resort to some of those weaknesses and those addictions. But you begin to manage your mind, manage your thoughts, and then manage your conversation. And take this opportunity to speak things over your life that are aligned with the will of God. And that will bring forth every promise in the name of Jesus. So this is an opportunity for you to start contemplating and pondering the things of God concerning your life. If I ask you right now, what are some of the promises of God over your life? What are they? Could you answer that? Could you write it in the comments right now? I think today your assignment is to begin to first manage your thoughts and begin to write down the promises of God over your life. Begin to write down the promises of God. 
And if you don't have anything to write, that is a time to have a conversation with God and say, Lord, what are the promises over my life? Start with scripture. Begin with scripture. I will supply all your needs according to the riches and glory in Christ Jesus. He will sustain you. He will keep you. He will supply your needs. What are the promises of God for your life? And then once you begin to write down a few of those promises, now begin to decree and declare those promises. Begin with an I am. And then whatever that promise is, whatever that prophetic declaration is, my life shall be filled and begin to make those declarations. My family and begin to make those declarations. It's time for you to have a conversation. As you begin to put a word over your life, you will begin to see that word manifest in your life. As you begin to make those declarations, you be, you see your life shift. Your thoughts will begin to shift. Your expecta expectations will begin to change. Why? Because it's so saturated with the promises of God, the word of God, and the prophetic word of God. It's time for you to change your conversations, to have the right conversations. And sometimes you got to say, listen, I'm not having that conversation. You got to be willing to say no to people. You got to be willing to shut, shut down the wrong communications. I want to have the right conversations about my life, about my circumstances. You have to manage that in this season. Even the things that you're reading, things that you're watching, it's time for you to change the channel. <laughs> I need somebody to write that right now in the comments. It's time to change the channel. I know you know what's going on in the news, but do you know the good news? Do you know the gospel? Jesus is alive and well. It's time to change the conversation. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. It doesn't belong to the government. It belongs to God. It's time to change the channel. It's time to have the right conversation. You shall not die, but live. It's time to change the channel. It's time to change, have the right conversations. Hallelujah, Jesus. You have power. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. It's time to change the channel. It's time to have the right conversation. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Come on, somebody. God is not a man that he shall lie, nor the son of man that he shall repent. If he said it, he shall do it. God's word will not come back void. It's time to change the channel. It's time to have the right conversations. I need somebody to know that. And then when people and you're hearing, oh, gosh. Even Jeremiah, Jeremiah was willing to stand alone and be the only prophet to speak what thus saved the Lord, even when it was a hard word. I need you to be the one who has the right conversation. You need to start and shift the conversation. Everybody wants to be dramatic. Everybody wants to gossip. Everybody wants to talk about what they're doing, what they're not doing. Everyone wants to talk about this and that. We need to start having the right conversation. What conversation are you carrying in this season? And you can do that by start writing out the promises. Start reading the word. I was just talking to my daughter Madison yesterday. And I've been trying to help her and parent her. And just talk about a few things. And I said, baby girl, you need to really read your word. And begin to put some light in your word, in your life. Hallelujah. And I pray that you're putting some light in you. And you need a different conversation. What is in you? Because whatever's in you is going to come out. So we need to read the word of God. We see in Ephesians chapter 5 that the word cleanses. The word cleanses. We know in John chapter 1 that Jesus is the light of the world. We know that Jesus is also the Logos. So we know that the word has light in it. You want, your, you want to be able to illuminate the presence of God. You want to be able to change the atmosphere and bring forth light. You need to fill yourself with light. So thus you must fill yourself with the word of God. Hallelujah, Jesus. We need to bring some light into the situation in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So change your conversation. Change your conversation and begin to put some faith. Seed your circumstances with faith. Talk about your finance different. Talk about your marriage different. Talk about where you are in life differently, where you're going differently in the name of Jesus. There's life and death in the power of the tongue. You got to manage your mind. 
manage your tongue and you begin to see how things manage in your life. It'll begin to change. Hallelujah. This is power in your conversation. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we say thank you. We bless your holy name. There is none like you. God, in our secret places, in our quarantine, in our room, in isolation, God, with our family, with our friends, we've been having some conversations. We repent right now for the conversations that don't align with your will, don't align with your word, doesn't align with your way. We ask God in the name of Jesus that you begin to touch our minds and help us to think on things above and not just below. We ask in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that you help us to set our minds on the things of the spirit that we might reap life and peace. We pray in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that you begin to remind us of the promises of God, the promises in your word. Help us and remind us that we are descendants of Abraham, that we have an inheritance, not only in heaven and eternal life, but we also have an inheritance right now. Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus that we will remember that you will never leave us nor forsake us, that you will supply all our needs, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. We, we, God, we need your word in this season. We need to remember the promises of God. I mean, we ask God in the name of Jesus that as we begin to manage our mind and our thoughts, that we begin to manage our conversations. We know that life and death are the power of the tongue, God. And in this season, there's some things that we need to, to, to close out. And there's some things that we need to speak life to. We ask in the name of Jesus, God, that you would lead us and guide us and give us discernment to the things that we need to kill with our tongue, to rebuke, to curse, to bring down, to tear down. And give us the discernment to what to build in this season. You have given us the keys to the kingdom. And we ask in the name of Jesus by faith. We begin to speak those things that are not as though they were. That we begin to. That thy kingdom will come through our mouths. In the name of Jesus. That will be on the earth as it is in heaven. I pray in the name of Jesus Father. That we will tame our tongue. In the name of Jesus. And we let it loose on the things that you want us to speak on in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask God that we will speak things that are righteousness, things that are joy, things that are peace, things that are lovely, things that are good rapport, that we will speak your word, that we will give people a reason for the hope that we have. We pray in the name of Jesus, God, that we will be, be uh, sharing life in the name of Jesus, that we will speak life in the name of Jesus. You said, blessed are the peacemaker. I pray that shalom will come through our mouths in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. We ask God in the name of Jesus that you will shut the enemy's mouth. Yes, Lord, we come against God in the name of Jesus. Every false report. Hmm. We know, God, that every gate, every administration, every office has a declaration. They have their own prophets. They were prophets of Baal. We, they have their own administrators. They have their own priests. They have their own prophets. They have their own kings and rulers and dominions. God, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities and powers. So we stand at as apostles and prophets, evangelists, teachers, pastors, priests, God. We come as children of God, of the Most High God, and we have the right conversation. We carry the right conversation. We carry the gospel. We carry prophecy. We carry promise. We carry the sword, which is the word of God, and we wield that sword in the name of Jesus, and we change the atmosphere now by faith and in the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus. We change the situation by changing the conversation and we speak those things that are not as though they are. We pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, hallelujah, that you will stir something up in us to begin to take off the mask and speak what thus saith the Lord. God, we ask in the name of Jesus, that you take the muzzles off. In the name of Jesus. 
We come against timidity right now in the name of Jesus. And we ask God that a word will come forth out of our mouths in the name of Jesus concerning the circumstances of this country, concerning the circumstances of nations in the name of Jesus. Conversations that will change the economy, conversations and action that will change the things in our community, in our families, in the name of Jesus. We change it now, right now by conversation for conversion in the name of Jesus. We speak God life into the atmosphere in the name of Jesus. As everyone's talking about death, hey, we speak life in the name of Jesus. Children are being born even in a pandemic. There's life that's still taking place. So we ask in the name of Jesus, God, that you will show us, God, and that you will lead us in what to say, how to speak, in our tone, God, in the name of Jesus. Show us, God, who to talk to in the name of Jesus and put on our minds that, yo, hallelujah, Jesus. I feel the glory of God. Hallelujah. Your word says that you will give us the words to say in that very hour. So, God, we pray in the name of Jesus that you will lay your hand on our minds in the name of Jesus. That you will touch and anoint our mouths in the name of Jesus. May our word, God, hallelujah, have a double-edged sword in it in the name of Jesus. God, I pray, God, that we will cut, that we will tear down what we need to tear down. God, everything that's of not of you, we tear it down in the name of Jesus. And we, God, build, God, all things that are lovely, all things that are pure, things that are of the kingdom in this name, of, in the name of Jesus. We erect the things of God. We tear down idols. We tear down strongholds in the name of Jesus. And we erect the things of God, healing and prosperity, hallelujah, and blessings and conversion, God, in the name of Jesus. God, salvation, God, belongs to the Lamb. Healing, deliverance, God, in the name of Jesus, we erect the things of you, God, and not of flesh and not of the enemy, in the name of Jesus. We, God, we come against, God, drugs and alcohol in this season, God, overdoses, God, in the name of Jesus. We come against drunkenness right now in the name of Jesus, God. Hallelujah. May we be filled with the spirit and not with wine and alcohol and different kinds of spirits, God. Well, God, we want to be filled right now with the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. We want to be filled with the spirit of God and manifesting the fruit of the spirit, God, in the name of Jesus. I come against right now self-medication in the name of Jesus. God, we come against self-medication right now. God, in the name of Jesus, that's working with the spirit of fear and anxiety and depression, God. In the name of Jesus, we, God, pray and we lose life right now. In the name of Jesus, we lose joy, peace, God, right now. In the name of Jesus, gentleness and kindness, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, may it come to the mind and the subconscious mind, God, we come against the whisperer right now, in the name of Jesus, the voice, God, that comes to seek, kill, and destroy, God, and God, speak things that are antith antithetical to your word, God, that opposes your word, we come against it now, in the name of Jesus, we take those thoughts and imaginations and those concepts and precepts, God, captive now in the name of Jesus that are not of you, God, and we speak your promises and your word over our lives in the name of Jesus. Saturate our minds with your word. Cleanse our minds with your word in the name of Jesus. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh upon us in the name of Jesus, God. Even now, as persons are listening, God, the, the, the spirit of the enemy and his thoughts and the imagination of the enemy, God, is being lifted off for us. God, depression is being lifted off for us. Su uh, suicidal thoughts are being lifted off of us, God. Negative thinking and ne negative thoughts are being lifted off of us, God. And life, peace, and joy is ours in the name of Jesus, God. Hallelujah. Life is flowing from our tongues. Peace is flowing through our tongue. God, your word is flowing through our tongue. We're speaking, God, 
the things of uh, from eternity, things that have been established before the foundation of the earth. We're speaking those things, God. Your God, your infinite mind is touching our finite minds. And God, you're sharing your thoughts. Eyes are being opened. Our minds are being exposed to your eternal and everlasting word. God, in the name of Jesus, our ears are hearing what thus saith the Lord to the church. And God, we're echoing and we're speaking those things, God, that come from your throne room right now in the name of Jesus. I am righteous. I am whole. I am healed. I am delivered. I am set. F I am set free. Hallelujah. I shall prosper. Hallelujah. Jesus. God shall increase me. God shall elevate me. God shall. Hallelujah. Increase and enlarge my territory. Hallelujah. Jesus. The Lord. My family is whole. My family is safe. My family is prospering. My neighbor is blessed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless your holy name, God, and we have had having the right conversations, God. We are speaking the things of you and we thank you, God, that our mind and our conversation are changing now. Yes, God, we are bringing light into a dark situation. We're bringing life into death in the name of Jesus. We're bringing promises into a pandemic. We're bringing miracles into misery in the name of Jesus. We are changing it. We will not settle. We will not accept the, the enemy's report. We will not accept what is happening to us, but we will embrace Embrace your promises. We shall embark on a, on a bright future in the name of Jesus. And we say thank you, God. Right now, we say thank you, God. We bless your holy name. We believe. We still believe. We're still holding on to every promise. We're still, God, pr pr pursuing every word concerning our lives, God, that comes from you. We love you and we say thank you. And we ask, God, that you'll put a hedge of protection around us. Put a hedge of protection over our minds, God, around our thoughts, around our heart, in the name of Jesus. And we pray in the name of Jesus that everything that we speak, everything that we say will be pleasing in your sight, in the name of Jesus. Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, our strength, our redeemer, in Jesus' name. Now, if you ask anything in his name, it shall be done in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. And I pray you have the right conversations. Eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. Nor has it entered to the heart of man. But if you get in his presence, he will show you. You will hear it. And you can receive it in Jesus' name. God bless you. If you have not shared this broadcast, please press share, 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 share. Right now, if this blessed you, right now, just go ahead and slide to the bottom over and give Facebook a heart attack in the name of Jesus. Begin to put hearts on this. If you're in agreement and you know that conversations can bring forth a manifestation that would change the situation, go ahead and give Facebook, a heart attack right now. Just begin to press and tap that screen in the name of Jesus. God is good and he's worthy to be praised. We pray that you would join each friendship again in the name of Jesus next week. Lord willing, we pray that you would join us and that you would share, that you will continue to pray in Jesus name. God bless you. Peace.